everyone, my name is uh, Laras. I'm from IDN Times Indonesia. And well, thank you for letting us to have an interview with you both. Well, there are some questions that we want to ask. Are you guys ready? We're ready. ready Let's do it. As we'll ever be. Okay. Well, congratulations on your newest album this year. Would you like to tell us why was it named Let's Just Say in the World and a week from now, what would you do? I mean, like, don't you think it's too long for the album title? <laughs> what was the story behind it? It sounds quite ominous and dark. Uh, and it sounds like it might be about the pandemic, but we came up with it before the pandemic had even come about. Um, and it's really just a hypothetical situation like let's just say the world ended what would you do who would you hang out with who would you tell that you love and the album is to those people and it's a celebration of all those people okay i see well having some most popular singers nowadays like nikki pink sweets khalid what was your consideration in selecting or looking for whom you would collaborate with yeah, we just love great voices um, and artists that we feel that we love their music and that we feel um, are like kind of well aligned with what Han is about. Like Nikki, we would um, wanted to work with her for a while and it just happened that whilst we were in LA at the start of 2020, she was in the studio next door. Um, and so we just kind of managed to speak to her and we um luckily she was a fan of ours as well but other people like khalid we'd um we'd been talking to him for about five years now um and he asked us to send some instrumentals and three strikes was one of them and he sung on it and sent it back and then we worked on it more and that's where it is now it's out in the world okay then well, um, I want to ask, how was working with Nikki? What was the most beautiful thing when working with her, actually? Um, yeah, it was really nice. We we but we had tried to reach out to her for a long time, and it was mm-hmm. um, we just messaged her on Instagram, and she ignored us. <laughs> so it was nice, <laughs> um, and um, yeah, so that was great. And we had a really nice moment where we went into her studio where she was working and we all listened to music like ours and hers. Um, I think we heard snippets of her album before it like came out, which was really nice for us to hear. Um, and yeah, she's just a lovely, lovely person and really talented. Her verse for coming home, we got some like nice little snacks i think we might have got some cookies and mm. cookie dough. On the go. yeah cookie dough and it was just great um, yeah she oh, also man. does um the most hilarious english accent oh yeah okay. all right well uh hon it said that uh you've ever sent mickey message on instagram and didn't get any replies before but how about no <laughs> i mean like i wonder how did you get closer after this collaboration yeah, after the collaboration, we have a an iMessage chat group called BFFs, Best Friends Forever. So, yeah, we've stayed in touch and I'm sure we'll um, see her again or speak to her again soon. Okay, well, let's talk about your tour anyway. Congratulations. How do you feel to finally will hold the tour again? Yeah, uh, it feels great to know that we will hopefully um, be going out on tour, (laughs) like we've missed it a lot. And yeah, we just, we can't wait to, we've we've started announcing it and hopefully we can carry on announcing uh, the rest of the world tours as well, including Indonesia. Fingers crossed next year uh, will be a great year for us and for touring and for everybody. Well, I don't see any Indonesian dates in your lips. <laughs> what do you miss the most from being on stage in Indonesia? And what was the most memorable thing from your last visit to Indonesia anyway? Oh, so, so many things we miss. Um, we just miss, Indonesians are brilliant singers. So it's great just playing our songs and hearing everyone singing back our, uh, the lyrics that we've written. So that's really special. After one of our shows in Jakarta, we um, got 
like little vespers and kind of um, oh. around the city late at night. Um, so that was really, really cool and a memory that we'll treasure for forever. Well, um, I want to ask you to play a flash quiz with me. I will say some words and you choose this or that right in a second. Are you ready? Yes. Okay. Three strikes or what would you do? What would you do? Yeah. Okay. Staying four weeks in Indonesia for vacation or, or just three days in Indonesia for the tour? Four weeks. Four weeks <laughs> on vacation. <laughs> okay. All right. A last quiz. Nikki or Gempi? Oh, oh, you can't do that. <laughs> both you can't both do that. together. Both yeah, together both are together. Our next single. Okay, the dream can, can collab. You, okay, can you just choose one instead? Of? No, um, that's, that will end our career. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you choose both of them, right? Okay. Yeah, yeah. pick one each. Okay, then. Yeah. All right, all right. So, the last question. Let's just say in the world and a week from now, what would you do? Okay, we'd come to Indonesia. We'd first have a couple of days holiday oh. in Bali. Mm. Uh, yeah, because we've not been there yet. And then we'd come to Jakarta and we'd do the biggest show we've ever played. We'd do, make it a free concert. And then we'd go to Bandung okay. and play in the forest. Okay. And then we'll go to Surabaya yeah. and play there as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, we hope that Hon will hold an Indonesian tour as soon as possible. Right. Yeah. Yes. Um, I think that's it. And thank you so much for this opportunity. We are so excited and glad for your newest album and tour. And good luck. Stay healthy and hope uh, to see you guys soon in Indonesia, yeah. of course. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thanks for having thank us. You. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.